All right, so I'm, I'm going to get us started. Again, I'm Faye Taxman, and my colleague Daniel Rhodes is here. Um, we're greeting you to the Center for Advancing Correctional Excellence Symposium. Um, it is a celebration symposium in the sense that it's a 10th anniversary. It's technically our 11th anniversary, but you know, COVID has sort of thrown a wrench in all of our lives for the last couple of years. Um, <laughs> so uh, we were a little delayed last year, but um, you know, we wanted to actually put on a uh, symposium to really think about how to chart a course forward using the principles of social justice in the areas that we do work, sentencing and corrections and criminal legal system policies. Um, so, um, you know, first of all, I want to make sure everyone knows that we have an awesome team here at ACE. Um, many of the folks on whose pictures are or aren't here um, actually work uh, collaboratively with us on many different projects. Um, and so we greatly appreciate all the effort um, and, you know, and also this opportunity to work with such an awesome team. Um, my colleague, Daniel Roots. Um, so we have, you know, we like to celebrate big wins here um, at ACE because we know how hard our work is and we know how hard people work. Um, so I want to formally announce that Danielle, um, the Board of Visitors for George Mason University basically voted to promote Danielle to full professor. Yay, Danielle, a well-deserved trait. And one of our guest speakers, Rob Norris, also received tenure to, um, at the same time. So, and moves from assistant to associate professor. So kudos to Rob also, but the, you know, in our business, these are really, um, uh, difficult, um, but really important steps. And um, anyway, you know, we really like to congratulate all of our uh, team members. Uh, as I said last week, for those of you who attended, um, you know, we have quite a few of our former students who are professors who have just received tenure last year or this year. So we really feel very proud. We have some of our graduating master's students who are getting really critical jobs um, and hopefully will make an imprint in the disciplines that we're interested in. Um, and, you know, we just, uh, as a team, we just really enjoy the work we do and enjoy the opportunities that we can bring forth both at George Mason, but also across the globe. Um, so today um, we have a very, you know, the next four hours are going to be awesome. Um, first, we're going to hear from Dean Mark Rizal. Um, Dean Roselle is the Dean of the Shar School of Policy and Government at George Mason University, where the Center for Advancing Correctional Excellence sits. Um, Dean Roselle has been an awesome advocate for us at ACE, so we greatly appreciate all the support and assistance. Um, without his support, we couldn't do many of the things that we desire to do and also to be able to play such a critical place in the discussion of public policy as it relates to ACE. So Dean Rizal is gonna kick us off um, this, um, this uh, you know, for our symposium. Um, and then we'll at 1.15-ish, we'll turn our attention to, um, a, Rob Norris um, and have him also discuss with us some of the critical issues about miscarriage of justice. So Dean Rizal, thank you for joining us. Greatly Great. appreciate it. Yeah, thank you, Faye. I'm delighted to be here. Um, everybody, I'm Mark Rizal and uh, I serve as Dean of the Shar School and we are really pleased to be home to the Center for Advancing Correctional Excellence, which we know as ACE. And ACE addresses some critical policy areas such as sentencing and corrections. Um, but more importantly, ACE is devoted to addressing some of the larger social inequities in our society, including health inequities, racial inequities, and economic disenfranchisement. And ACE is joined by a sister center in the Shar School, 
uh, the Race, Politics, and Policy Center. And we offer many opportunities to engage in discussions about how to address these inequities. And also more important, ACE works with state, local, federal, and nonprofit organizations to pursue social equity issues. Um, this is really important because their work is devoted to frontline issues where policy and practice meet. ACE also engages in research translational work in both the health and legal systems. The Justice Community Opioid Innovation Network, JCOIN, is an NIH center grant devoted to issues of translation to increase the uptake of research into practice. And this is critical because ACE values putting research findings at the hands of those who are responsible for implementation and not just high level users. And it is through this front end work that ACE has had uh, a great deal of influence and continues to leave its mark. ACE also provides students with opportunity, and we appreciate that in the Shar School especially. Um, this year, two of our undergraduates won at the Shar Research Poster Session and will present at OSCAR. And one of our Masters in Public Policy students got two job offers from prominent public policy organizations. And ACE routinely supports students at the Shar School and throughout the George Mason University campus. So these opportunities are critical to the work of preparing the next generation of leaders, how to be influential and how to make their mark on society. ACE is a partner with other academic units at George Mason University uh, across our campus with over 20 other organizations. And these partnerships um, do not include the over 200 organizations that have worked with ACE. And in fact, one organization the Maryland Department of Public Safety and Correctional Services uh, has worked with my colleague, Dr. Taxman, for over 30 years. So uh, thank you for offering me this opportunity to provide this welcome to you for your uh, program. And I now turn it back over to Professor Faye Taxman. Faye? All right, thank you very much, Dean Rizzo. Um, we uh, really enjoy the opportunity to really, um, you know, uh, make a mark on the world. 